Yes, the important people at the front as well. So grab a seat, grab a drink if you like and um, have a seat. And we'll get started soon. Beautiful people up the front, <laughs> ready to go. She's key. <laughs> All right, welcome everyone, and thank you for being here on this happiest of days. I begin today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather today and pay my respects to their elders, past and present. I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today. My name is Jennifer Wood and I'm duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. It is no accident that each of you are here today to celebrate with Jenna and Pete. You are invited because you represent someone important in their individual and collective lives. Family, close friends, new and old friends. They have very strong connections to their family and friends and could not imagine you all not being here today. After the events of the past two years, we've realised how important it is to keep people in our life close and experience these significant events with people who have become a big part of who we have become. Jenna and Pete are no exception. These beautiful people standing beside them today reflect the love for their family and long-term friendships that they have maintained throughout their life. Great friends, Carly, Cody, Corey, Luke and Matt as well as Jenna's loving sister, Carly. Don't they look amazing? Gorgeous. Of course, we cannot forget the cutest of all out here, little Bella. What a superstar. And she has like, no idea. <laughs> and what a beautiful place we have here where we have come together to witness the union of these two gorgeous people. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. Like finally adding the last piece to a puzzle, 
This feeling will change your life, let you see the world in a different way. Meeting the person who you share a friendship so remarkable, you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For Jenna and Pete, that was four and a half years ago. I know how deeply they care and love for one another, and I feel privileged to be here today with you all to witness their commitment to each other. Jenna and Pete, before you enjoined in marriage, in my presence and in the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage, according to the law in Australia, is a union of two people to the exclusion of all others, voluntarily entered into for life. Marriage is also perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of our lives. And let's face it, we all love an adventure. It needs dedication and commitment, listening, supporting, and believing in each other. But you cannot forget the important part, laughing together, learning to appreciate the differences in each other and making every day count. Getting to know them better, it was clear to me that Jenna and Pete represent a perfect pairing. She's looking to see what's under her dress. <laughs> <laughs> because they complement each other so well. They are wonderful individuals, but together they are even better. In this crazy age of technology and changes in the dating scene, love found a way to these two gorgeous people with a simple swipe right. <laughs> Jenna made the all important first move by sending Pete a message and it worked because before long, they were sharing dinner and drinks together in Geelong on their first date. Immediately, they knew they had a great connection, sharing the love of the same food and great conversation about travel, sport and work. They realised very quickly they, they had so much in common. They were chatting together easily and it just felt right. It was the beginning of something special. They were about to learn so much more about each other, starting to uncover likes, dislikes and shared passions. And of course, experiencing the all important first. It's so dirty down there. She's, she's playing in the dirt. That's her. She's fine. <laughs> Um, their first kiss, not until their third date. Nice. <laughs> their first gifts to each other, alcohol, of course. And then their first holiday together. They spent their first holiday in Jarvis Bay. It was a, me a memorable trip, a road trip, leaving home on a Friday afternoon with a bit of a let's see what happens approach to their trip. They weren't sure how far they would get, so they hadn't booked any accommodation. But by 10 p.m. they had re a realisation that they were too late to book anywhere. So they slept in the car on the side of the road, only to wake up to the gentle mooing of a local cow at their window. <laughs> Port Douglas also holds a special place in their hearts. After postponing a trip to Port Douglas for their baby moon due to COVID, they finally had a chance to go in March last year. One day, when Valerie's older, she will learn that she was part of the special moment that her mum and dad became engaged. Jenna describes Pete as someone who is adventurous, outgoing, fun, handsome, thoughtful, and always up for a good time. Don't worry, it's coming. She says he can be a little bit stubborn at times and a bit of a pest when he wants to be. <laughs> we started with the good stuff. But Jenna also loves that Pete is such an amazing dad to Bella. He is supportive, passionate, and such a wonderful provider for their family. She says how lucky she is to have him in her life and sharing so much together as a family. Pete has really encouraged Jenna to live life to the full, staying healthy and creating great memories together. And Pete just loves that Jenna is an amazing person to do life with. He describes her as beautiful, kind-hearted, and always putting others first before herself. As a hard-working, ambitious mum who just loves her sport with a crazy obsession for cricket, she has, created, she has created a wonderful life for their little family and is always up for some quality banter with him. In fact, he says she's great at tolerating a bit of a hard time from him. They love to share a Friday night relaxing on the couch, watching a movie or sport, of course, but at any opportunity, they love to spend time with family and friends. Bella has become the centre of their world and they love to take her to the beach with Ollie 
or visits to the pool and road trips down the coast. After a lovely honeymoon somewhere warm later in the year, Jenna, Pete, Bella and Ollie look forward to a long and happy future together. They've bought a block of land and are excited to build their dream home for their family next year. Then one day, introduce their love of travel to Bella. For the time being, they will enjoy simply being together, creating a long lasting marriage of love and friendship. For now, my wish to them on their wedding day is that their life together is one of complete contentment, full of those moments that they wish would never end and that they continue to make each other smile forever. So, are we ready to make this official? Oh, it doesn't sound very convincing. <laughs> right, Jenna and Pete, today's a celebration of the commitment you have made to each other. Through your friendship, you have built a solid foundation for infinite love. You have gathered the people that are nearest and dearest to you to say thank you for their love and support and to witness the declaration of your love for each other. Jenna, I ask you before your family and friends, will you dedicate your life to Peter as his best friend? Will you bring happiness to him every day and provide the love and support throughout all the good and bad times life may bring? Jenna, do you, without hesitation or reservation, take Pete to be joined as husband and wife in marriage? Pete, I ask you before your family and friends, will you dedicate your life to Jenna as her best friend? Will you bring happiness to her every day and provide the love and support throughout all the good and bad times life may bring? Pete, do you, without hesitation or reservation, no hesitation there. Take Jenna to be you to be joined as husband and wife in marriage. Fabulous. Okay, Jenna and Pete, the vows you're about to exchange are the representation of the love that you give to each other, the promises you will make to each other and your family here today. I now invite Jenna to read your vows to Pete. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Jenna Nicole Cunningham, take you, Peter Jamin de Labatouche to be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to love you, to care for you, and to respect you for all of my life. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Peter Jamin de Labatouche, take you, Jenna Nicole Cunningham, to be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to love you, to care for you, and to respect you for all my life. Jenna and Pete will now exchange rings. Pete, please take the ring for Jenna and as you place it on her finger, please repeat after me. Jenna, this symbol, uh, sorry, this ring is a symbol of my love and commitment to you. Please wear it with faith and trust that I will always love you. Jenna, please take the ring for Pete. As you place it on his finger, please repeat after me. Pete, this, is a, this ring is a symbol of love and commitment to you. Please wear it with faith and trust that I will always love you. Jenna and Pete, to make your relationship work, it will take love and commitment. Continue to spend time together taking short time to share your good and bad times with each other and your love and marriage will go stronger with time. It will take trust and dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together without knowing exactly what the future brings. Don't forget to say I love you to each other every day. Ladies and gentlemen, as we come to the closing of the formalities of the day, we celebrate the declaration of love that has been made today by Jenna and Pete. Jenna and Pete, you have shown today before your family and friends that you have found something that many have not. You have found the love for each other that will last forever. I am privileged to announce that you are now joined in marriage and now it is time to share your first kiss as a married couple. Congratulations everybody. We're going to just go over here for five minutes and sign some certificates. So just please stay around here 
and we'll be back in about five minutes. Listen to the music of the moment away. I'm sure there's no need to I've been spending way too long checking my And Pete, I wish you all the very best for your marriage and that you not only enjoy your day today, but also remember the vows that you have made to each other forever. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honour to present to you for the first time, Mr and Mrs De Labatouche. Uh, 
you know, imagine having a wedding here 40 years later and, and what a beautiful day it is and what a beautiful night and beautiful venue it is. Um, so on behalf of Sue and myself, Pam and John, Rob and Anne, we welcome you all here to share this fantastic and special day with Jenna and Pete. Um, first of all, to Pete and Jenna, uh, what a fast, fantastic job you've done in organising everything, which is, you've organised everything. So people know Jenna, and she has organised everything. <laughs> and uh, and even, uh, even coming here today, it was like, I won't be late. Two minutes, that's it. Two minutes, that's it. It's on my diary here to see the people, and you know the list, bang. But I think you're a little bit the same too, Pete. So, you know, there are a lot of things you've done here. You know, I came in yesterday, said, you know, you said, I haven't got time to talk to you, I haven't got things to do. Away you go. And I said, that's the new son in law. How well's that going? Um, so, what a great job you've done on organising it and, and everything is, that's happened. Now, when Jenna said to me she wanted me to give us the usual speech today, uh, the first thing she says, you want to time me. So, if people know me, that's fairly relevant. My brothers are timing it now. So, I thought, look, how am I going to tell any stories about Pete and Jenna and their relationship and how it began and developed? Because they lived in Geelong and I, we lived in Ballarat, so it's, 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 we didn't see any of it, really. Um, so I thought, well, when did I first meet Pete? And I remember it was Jenna's third and unbeknownst to me, she asked her friends to keep Dad away from him when he comes, because she just started seeing him. She didn't want it to finish straight away. Um, however, Pete walked in on his own, and he walked straight into the... And if anyone knows me, I go, get a cover, who are you? Where'd you come from? What are you doing here? What's your story? Tell me your background. Three minutes later, he probably had a word. And... And uh, anyway, he walked into me, but before I had a chance to even go any further, Jenna had her friends come over and physically remove him from me <laughs> and take him away and said, someone else go with that so that, you, you know, I've got a bit of a chance with this one. <laughs> so then I thought, he's from Torquay. We could get, we, this is all right, we could get a surfer boy. <laughs> but no, he's a skater boy. <laughs> He's a snowboarding daredevil. He puts the videos on and says, have a look at this. And I go, I wouldn't do that for quits. And he goes, oh, I'm doing that a bit. And I go, oh, yeah. you know, you're the father of my uh, grandchild there, be careful. Um, he's even a golfer, which, which I hate golf, ruins a good walk. Um, but uh, lucky enough, I introduced him to in good mate Tony, he's a good golfer, and he can't wait to catch up and play golf with him. Um, then I thought, thought about it and I thought, I've got not a problem at all. He's got to get past Carl Mitchell first. <laughs> That's going to be hard to get through any of our family members, getting past Carly, taking Jenna away from Carly. You've got to be joking. Um, anyway, I thought, this will be interesting to see how they go on the first night. And, you know, if they come out and he says, let's have a drink and see how you go. Because my money would be on Jenna to drink him under the table because she can't hold a drink after the ends night the other night, clearly. Um, then I thought, oh God, it's December. I hope he supports the stars in cricket. And there's footy seasons around the corner. I hope you like some cats. No. Then I thought, I've got to know him better. We had a couple of beers. And I thought, look, he's got a couple of winners up his sleeves. He loves NBA basketball, which is not real basketball, but anyway, yeah. that's just a start. <laughs> <laughs> and to my family, he brews his own beer, which is fantastic. I come down here. I come down and he gives me one. That's it. One. How's that? Not bad. Good. You, know you like it. <laughs> he brews our beer. So lastly, he started turning up at family functions. And I thought, mm -hmm, he's pretty well in this boat. And even to this day, I remember when he turned up at Brooks, um, one of the, I can't remember which, which one, it might have been Sawyer's first birthday party. And he walked in and he, his mouth opened up and he looked at the food on the table. And the food was, he thought, is this? going on here? And this is a normal thing about functions, isn't it? And he goes, oh, I can't believe, what's the story with this? Every time I go to one of your functions, there's more food than, than a third world country. Um, and so he's still getting used to that and the family gave him how close we are. Um, finally, uh, it's great to welcome Peach family to us. They're a great family. They have lots of love. Um, they're very kind and generous people and they've made us most, most welcome. So we really appreciate uh, getting to meet Peach family. Great people. We've, we even went, um, had Christmas Day down here and went to their Boxing Day, which was quite interesting. 
<laughs> uh, um, I got on well with most of them, but it's, 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 I don't know if they, they thought who's that idiot anyway, but at the end of it, it was a great day, so they've been generous people to, to a fault. Um, we wish them only great things in life together. Um, they're already a wonderful couple, and, uh, and of course, they're great parents to the great and fabulous Bella. Thank you very much. Break, brief, those that know me will probably, hey, <laughs> support crew, um, will probably say, yeah, right, but, you know, I'm also like Dad, love a good chat, so <laughs> excuse me for reading off my phone, but I've just made a few notes to, uh, a few notes to keep me on track. Um, Jenna, you have been many things um, over the years. We were roommates for the first eight years of your life sharing a bedroom and we loved our hot um, L-shaped pink bunks um, that we shared, bunk beds that we shared. Um, we were dance partners and let's be honest, we still are to this day, check it out later. You'll, you'll love it, you'll appreciate it, hopefully. Rendezvous. Um, rendezvous here in about 10 minutes. Um, and so many routines were made um, with our cousins, Brooke and Lauren, who are here today. Um, and Megan, I actually feel you were a part of a few of our um, dance routines when we moved into a separate bedrooms <laughs> in our new house. Um, but our favourite for a really long time is quite appropriate for today. Um, it was the Rock Melons. Um, the actual song is called, um, I think it was called, oh, I can't even remember what it's called actually, but the song goes L-O-V-E, love. And the four of us, Brooke, Lauren, Jenna and I used to um, hold up the signs L-O-V-E and pop out of the bunk beds together. Um, so that was a favourite for many years. Um, we were Cabbage Patch enthusiasts, BM BMX bandits with our brother Mark over on the track. Um, that was often a favourite thing to do. Um, we were always referred to a pair of, as a pair of giggling girdies by our nan. Uh, we've been teammates in netball and basketball, drinking partners on way too many occasions. <laughs> And poor Jenna even had to have me as a coach. Um, being a little bit older than her, I even was her coach, so the poor thing. Um, as we got older, you then became my travelling companion. And I've been so lucky to travel to um, many parts around the world with you. 11 weeks in a tent in Africa probably nearly pushed the friendship just a little bit. Especially when we hadn't showered for a little while, but that's, that's another story. Um, most importantly... Um, you've been my little sister for the past 34 years and I really can't remember life without you. She is fun, adventurous, resilient, excuse me. <laughs> she is determined, generous, creative, caring. I could go on and on. But most of all, she is kind and that's the thing I've loved about her the most. Um, oh, as many here, as Dad said. Stop it. <laughs> hey, that's enough now. <laughs> um, tequila. Yeah, tequila. No, no, you're not. Thank you, Ben Bell, at the headstand. Thank you, Ben Bell, for me. Well, you're me, so let's just not talk about that. <laughs> um, met Pete at Jenna's 30th, and I remember thinking, like, Dad, wow, this guy's got some guts. He's shown up with no support crew. Like, <laughs> wow, she hasn't filled him in on our family and friends that oh, well. <laughs> but, um, Possibly little did they know that as I walked home in the wee hours of that morning, I had my shoes in one hand, handbag in the other, we were going to get a kebab. <laughs> um, we needed a kebab, of course. Um, but I looked ahead and Pete and Jenna were in front of me and they were laughing and I thought, wow, there's something special happening here. It became really clear quite quickly that they knew what they wanted. Um, they, they shared a love of travel and adventure and having fun. Excuse me. Um, and never sitting still. <laughs> Always coming up with plans and taking many breaks. Um, that have shared many fantastic experiences. Pete soon became a regular at our family functions. And on his first, um, as Dad said, and on his first family birthday to our immediate family um, that he attended, our niece Hadley became very concerned and confused very quickly <laughs> when I said, 
I'm sorry, Hadley, you can't open your present. You've just got to wait for Aunty Jenna and Pete to come because it's from them as well. And she said, but Poppy Pete's here. And I said, no, Jenna's new boyfriend, Pete's coming. She said, but we already have a Pete. And I said, no, but that's your Poppy Pete. And so she took her a long time to get her head around having a Poppy Pete and a plain Pete. That's what she said. <laughs> I admire that you both have kept your own interests and independence and love doing things with your friends and family. But when I am with you both together, third wheel, there is always <laughs> laughter and fun, especially now that you have Bella. So I'd like to make a toast um, to wishing you wonderful things in your future and a lifetime of love. So if everyone can raise their glasses and cheers. cheers. Now, as I have no experience to give you on marriage, I've turned to my friend Dr. Zeus for some words of wisdom. We are all a little weird and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall in mutual weirdness and call it love. Thanks, Carly. Up next we have Corey. Good evening, family, friends, and probably a few blowings. Uh, my name's Towers, the mate that Dabba can never get rid of. As much as he tried, I was stuck around. Um, I don't really have much to say apart from. Uh, Dabby used to be a hard partying, fast moving, large travelling guy and we always said it would take one girl to settle him down and Jenna come along and bang, Dabby was sold. <laughs> he's really sold down, um, which is nice to see, he's learnt the real value of life which is family and love and commitment so it's nice to see Peter grow up. <laughs> it took him a while, most of us grew up before. But, um, uh, it's really nice to see you guys happy and uh, I'm always here for you, Bella and everyone else. No matter what people them, you can always rely on me. And yeah, good luck in the future. And all the best. Thank you. Everyone knows who this man is. Cheers, Tyler. Come on. Uh, so, yeah, special thanks to everybody for being here today. It's just such a big turnout. Like, there's so many good friends and family here. Um, everyone that's helped on the day, I'd give you a massive thank you. It's just been really good to, you know, hang out with my groomsmen for the last 24 hours and just get pumped up and just share jokes and have a great time. I'm sure you've had much the same with your girls as well. Um, thank you to the heads. What a great venue, what a great spot. Like, look at it. It's just amazing. Every look is just views. It's just so good. And um, thanks to the band. Thanks to the band. Yep. Looking forward to hearing more of your sets. And the entertainment's coming for the night. Yep. DJ Merv. Send it. Yep. <laughs> Thanks to our creative guys, Monica for shooting the pics, uh, Dunny for shooting videos, um, Steiner for emceeing, you, you know, setting the tone, really good stuff there. Um, there's still heaps of nice food coming out, just enjoy the bar, lots of drinks, just, you know, just go nuts, have a good time. Um, and then, finally, biggest thanks to my wife. <laughs> yeah. This is the Labatush. Poor girl. <laughs> Stuck spelling that name for the rest of your life and yeah, enjoy that. It's, it's exotic in French. It's the pros, you gotta deal with the cons. So, yeah. <laughs> you have put like countless hours of effort and time into this whole weekend, just emails, phone calls, coordinating people, we're navigating around Bella, trying to just get things happening. Um, yeah, this is just 
This is all happening mainly because you've just put so much work into this day and this whole weekend. Um, let's talk about um, when we first met. Like the moment we first met, it was just, you know, straight up. We just hit it off. Just endless chatter. We're just talking about travel and just, yeah, just constantly just laughing and having a good time. And it took three days to get a kiss, but, you know, it is what it is. I kept coming back. She was worth it. So. Yeah. So. Make them wait, ladies. Yeah. Make them wait. So looking forward. <laughs> so looking forward to like. You know, well, actually, we just seen for the last four years, we just had so many good experiences. We've just gone and travelled more. Like we've already pretty well travelled before we left. Uh, sorry, before we met each other, and yeah, it's just been ongoing good times since we met, and we look forward to just endless times with Bella and just um, yeah, just continuing on this journey and. Yeah, it's just been so good, and you look, she looks amazing. Look at her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, thanks again for everyone coming, and yeah, I'll wrap it up. Yeah, enjoy your night. Have a good time. Um, yeah, go nuts. Yes, party, drink. <laughs>